Hi folks, Clank here. Welcome to my Game Master Engine tutorial. This is episode 4, Walls and Water. So let's go ahead and select our Walls tool on the left here, and pick a random one out of the list. You'll notice that grid snapping isn't automatically on, so I'll have to press G on my keyboard, and this will enable grid snapping. If I press Q and E to rotate, you'll notice that it rotates in increments of 90 degrees. If I press Shift while I press Q and E, I can rotate it to any position that I like. I could also scale using control and scroll wheel, or I can mess with any of these settings here on our right, change the scaling, rotation, etc., just like I can with props. So I'll go ahead and make a line of walls here. If I want to make this process faster, I can press shift and hold that button, and you'll see a little line form. When I click, It'll spawn that whole line in. So let's finish that up there. And I'll get rid of this and make a little door here. Perfect. So there we go. Pretty easy. For the next part of the tutorial, we'll need to go to the ocean setting tab here on the left. When I open that, I can move this slider to bring up the water level. I can move it all the way up to do an underwater scene or keep it low use it as an ocean, a lake, a river, or whatever I decide to put in my map. I can use these sliders here on the right to change the speed of the waves, the amplitude, the opacity, light reflection, and of course the color of the water. So that does it for this episode of our tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.